Chelsea get it done by winning away to Lille. Uh, Jules, they showed a reaction after going a goal down. Yeah, not that I, I think it was difficult. The idea was very much to control the game. He played the three defensive midfielder, if you want, Kante, Kovacic and Jorginho, which is quite rare. Which we haven't seen that before. Well, we saw against City and that didn't really work out at all last time for Bridge in the league. But this game was very different. And even when Burak Hilma scored the penalty, you knew that Chelsea would come back. Lovely, lovely ball through. Through ball, sorry, by Jorginho. Thank Great you, Great by Pulisic, yeah. So can I just say that's two lovely through balls from Jorginho in a row? It's fantastic, you're right. And then after that, they just, yeah, they were too good anyway for Lille. But I like the way Lille fought this one and, and stayed in the game in a way. Gab, tomorrow is the deadline for bidders to submit their offers to buy Chelsea Football Club. How is it going? And is your boy Gianluca Vialli really involved with one of the bidders? I would love that. Uh, well, uh, indirectly, the company that he uh, he co-owns, Tifosi, is they're consulting on the bid by you know who, no. the Candyman. Ah, I love it. The Candyman. I'll I'll I'll, I'll choose a Candyman Viali bid. Uh, it's it's interesting. So yeah, the deadline is tomorrow. Again, I think if somebody comes up with more money on Monday, they're not going to send them away. Yeah, it's really interesting that the different groups that have come out of the woodwork there's a gold mine owner in ghana there's a guy in turkey there's a guy in saudi there's a whole raft of people in, in the, the US, us including yeah. mr ricketts who uh from from the from the chicago cubs yeah uh by the way it's the old ricketts the guy who said some very inappropriate and offensive things and then apologized them about muslims it's not him it's a son yeah. it's yeah, a family yeah, yeah. you know but um we'll see where this goes i think there's gonna be lots to talk about there yeah yeah Sticking with Chelsea, though, Thomas Tuchel says the team had nothing to do with the club's request to play this weekend's FA Cup game against Middlesbrough behind closed doors to, quote, preserve sporting integrity. I'm, I'm, I'm lo I love the fact that he feels like he has to say it because we all knew that was not his choice or Angolo Conte saying, uh, sorry, can we play behind closed doors at Middlesbrough because <laughs> our fans are not allowed to go? Uh, I, in a way, I'm sorry that Tuchel and the players found themselves in this situation, especially when there's a PR disaster like this request. I think... I think Chelsea as a club knew very straight away that it was the it was a wrong call and 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 so who made that, the call? I guess someone at the club. I don't know. It who, was funny. The the liver. They should be the, ashamed. The, the, the one thing I'll take I'll take issue with the Middlesbrough owner, um, Gibson, Gibson, Steve Gibson, yeah, had, Steve Gibson, who's owned the club for a long, long time. Yeah. So one thing I thought was a little bit pot and kettleish. Um, he had to go at Chelsea and Abramovich and really harsh words for yeah, Bruce yeah, Buck. And see that. as far as I know, Bruce Buck. Uh, his assets haven't been frozen, by the way. No. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but he said, oh, and one of the things is they spent a lot of money and contributed to inflationary pressure and so on. Yeah, you might want to rewind 25 years to the golden age of Middlesbrough when you were signing Junior oh, and yeah, Lavinelli. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. like, they you can have a go at him for many things, yeah. not spending money in the game. I think that's a bit, yeah. It is a bit. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.